maybe they don't do trunk flexion when they land because they have weak glutes. That one, that's one of the reasons why they might not, they have, they might have a stiff landing mechanics. That's something that we, we consider because when you land and you do more trunk flexion, you have to have strong glutes to hold, to, to control the landing in, in more trunk flexion. Otherwise you would fall forward. So if people have a weak glute, they won't have that much control when they land. So they would immediately put their trunk in a more extended position so they don't have to control the landing so much. So we, we look into the strength of the hips. If the hips are weak, we're going to address that. And then we're going to increase a little bit the trunk flexion when they land too. I, I can talk a little bit more about that later. But our emphasis would be here to try to decrease the excessive load that would be placed in the patellar tendon when they're landing because uh, the literature shows that if you land with a very upright trunk position, you're going to use your knee more to dissipate the load. You're further away from the center. Uh, your center of mass is further away from the axis of rotation of the knee. So if you remember the biomechanics, the further away your center of mass is from the axis of the joint, the more the joint has to do force to dissipate the load the torque is higher at the joint. So if you do a little bit more trunk flexion, you have less load in your patellar tendon. That's something we found in one of the studies from my PhD. So uh, this is also a factor that we have to consider. When you look at the landing mechanics, you see if they're landing in a stiffer uh, strategy. If that's happening, that's also something that we should look for uh, in terms of treatment. 